Read that scripture for him, he's cursed. <laughs> Read that scripture real loud because he's cursed. <laughs> cursed shall thou be in the city. So you cursed in the city, that's why you ain't got no money and you begging. Keep going. And cursed shall thou be in the field. You cursed in the field. <laughs> cursed shall thou be in the basket what? in thy store. Curse what? What? Don't get in my come face, on, Don't get in my man, face. Get up on you don't like want to get in my face, Man, come on, man. Don't get in my face, You got in his face. He right, ain't getting in your face. We well, reading you the scripture. Right. We trying to show you why. You ain't reading me shit, but a bunch of bullshit. Why? So why is the Bible Dude, I'll take you out in a minute. Man. Now, Jen, 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 I go right where you want. Get out of here with that shit. Come on, Bible man. Come on, preacher. Come on. Let's go. Bring it. Why don't you believe in the Bible? Why you hate the Bible? Why you hate the Bible so much? Why you got a problem with the Lord? What? 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 So why you hate the Bible? So Have you ever read the Bible before? Have you ever read the Bible? Can you read? No, I can't read. All right. <laughs> That's a goddamn shame, man. Motherfucker, it's crazy. God damn. One uppercut would put him to sleep. Told you he was an Israelite. You know. Crazy, man. Any time, any day, brother. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. You swear to God what? Well, you, but you said fuck God, but now you're swearing to God? I swear to God. Fuck God. Swear to God. Fuck God. <laughs> but you just acknowledge God existed. Fuck. God's a piece of Smart answer. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he said he fucked God, but now he, he's sending up swears to God. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he'll discover, Come on, he'll, he'll, he'll discover how clumsy he is fucking with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll find out how fucking Come how clumsy he is. Let me get that scripture. Let me get back in. Curse shall be the fruit of the body and the fruit of thy land. The increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Ain't nobody gonna give that angry motherfucker no money. <laughs> he, he, motherfucker, you got some change? <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Here, have all my money. <laughs> oh, shit. Motherfucker is nuts. Right. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. That boy right there is cursed in and out. So I got a trick for him. Yeah. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, vexation, and rebuke, rebuke, in all that thou settest thy hand unto for to do. So that's like that goes back to that Black Wall Street shit we was talking about. Everything they tried to do, they thought they was living. I bet mean, a lot of them was real proud too. Like, look at us, we're doing real good. We're, we're living like we're living the American dream in Black Wall Street. And then they drop bombs on the asses and burn it to the ground. You know what I'm saying? So they, that, what they did, they was cursed. And you do right there, he's definitely cursed. Yeah, okay. I'll catch well, him in the alley. He was about this in high school. He's, I'm gonna break his jaw if I catch him in the alley. Huh? I'm gonna break his jaw. He ain't gonna catch him in no alley. I'm gonna break his fucking jaw. I'm gonna show him what righteous anger is. Um, in he'll, all- He'll be in prison before the night's over. Well, Probably, yeah, they locking yeah. his ass up. Yeah, I can tell that look on his face is over for him. <laughs> they gonna, they gonna get his ass. <laughs> Somebody might shank his ass. There's some crazy motherfuckers up on all campus. All you gotta do is run into the right This is all over. Little homeless crazy motherfuckers up there. They straight shank you. you know, there's a lot of homeless people up here. Oh yeah. I know. Like, like that one dude. What's, he be uh, oh, walking around here. Oh, be rapping. Yeah. Your boy. That's your boy. That's your boy. What's his name? Uh, Derek. I don't hey, remember Derek, his yeah. name. Derek. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he know. He ain't no murderous type. I don't think. Nah. And dude, yeah, he's kind of cool though. He's just crazy. Yeah. He, if he got to, yeah. You put someone in the corner. Hey. Like the way out. Like the way out. Oh. Yeah. It's funny just seeing dude all fucked up like that. You ain't really got to hit me. Yeah, he was. They know what to do. Walk, turn around, walk, the man turn around. Give you money and shit. Like, motherfucker, let me get some change. Yeah, church motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah, we ain't no, we ain't no church motherfuckers. 
He was drunk. He could smell his ass. Yeah, he smelled that shit strong. You know, he wasn't getting no bus. He was going to get that, uh, <laughs> he was going to get a bottle. And all that thou sentest thy hand unto for to do, unto thou be destroyed, and unto thou perish quickly, because like, of the wickedness of thy doings. Yeah, like even I try to have my own business. Me and my brother, we had a, we used to have our own business. You and Paul? Yeah, we sold video games. This was like back in 06. It's been a minute, yeah. That was my last little. Most I destroyed that shit. He took that business from us. What you had out? He shut down the whole Extra building. Shop yeah, we yeah we you know, like a fleet market type deal, but it was a pretty good business though. So, you know, we only worked three days a week. We started once we started to make a little bit of money doing it, the whole shit got shut down. You know, but we cursed. Even the people the people that owned the place, they was Israelites. They they got cursed. Where'd you ever flee? They lost at? they lost their whole business. Where was the flea Down market? in what the South Expo? Southland Expo? Oh, South Mall. South High? Yeah. Oh. That used to be a popping business right there. The Expo? Really? Yeah. That was the only flea market on the south side. Besides the drive-in. I used to go out to the drive-in flea market. Well they had a flea market at the actual drive-in? They still do have it. Every Wednesday. Listen, Wednesdays, they got it uh, you know, uh, Saturday and Sundays. You got to get there early in the morning. It, it's, everybody leaves by noon. By noon, everybody's gone because it's so goddamn hot. Oh, really? The sun be beating down. Yeah, but yeah, but we used to have a, our, business, our business wasn't successful because we under the curses. The Lord ain't going to let you get too successful, man. Yeah, it's kind of funny you say that, too, because now that you mention it, though. I was saving up money to buy some skags, start doing yard work, cut grass, you know, the big skags you sit on and cut grass. I was going to save up a little bit of money to buy a couple of them. Every time I get enough, man, something always comes up to take that check. I say, what? Well, something always comes up. Something happens, you know? uh, blow a tire on your car. You know, engine transmission go out. There's some, some crazy <laughs> shit, <laughs> fucked up shit. They're talking about riding more. Yeah, all right. Uh, you buy the trailer and pull them around with my truck and truck. Maybe a guy went through the wall getting cut the grass. The Lord wants me to do this. <laughs> it's not, you know, that's some money doing that shit, man. I mean, can you? That can underbid everybody on yards. Right. Motherfuckers are charging $25, $30 a yard each week. Charging $15, man. I'm gonna cut, take everybody's six, man. Because the thing about making money is, if you want to make money, you got to spend all your time trying to make money. That's all you can think of. You ain't got time. That's what if, if you got a business, you ain't got time for nothing else but that business. That's all you thinking about all day. I gotta buy this. I gotta. How much can I buy this for? Sell it. And all you thinking all day is buy and sell, buy and sell. You can't learn the truth if you're in that state of mind. That's why the scriptures ain't for a rich man. Well, most most rich people ain't gonna get the truth because they're too caught up in making money. That takes a lot of time and energy to make money. It takes a lot of time. I mean, it takes a lot of work. You gotta. You can't in America. You gotta work hard to make uh, just a little bit of money. You know what I'm saying? Just to make a little bit of money, you gotta work damn 40 plus hours a week to get, yeah, if you wanna get a paycheck like 500 or something, $500 a week, you gotta put in, on one of these raggedy ass jobs, you gotta put in 50 hours, you know what I'm saying? It ain't happening no more. They right. They're cutting off at 28 hours. Right, and now a number of part time jobs. Yeah. yeah. Because of that Obamacare shit. Obama's scared. Well, I kind of predicted that was going to happen. With well, they knew it. Cutting down the hours. You know, the Obamacare was written by the insurance companies. Huh? Obamacare was written by the insurance companies. I heard it was written by one of somebody on the left who was formerly in prison. Well, I'm sure that's... Yeah, that's Some attorneys for these insurance companies. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. I mean, it, big corporate uh, corporations control the government, man. And they were really all controlled by the so-called Jews over there in Israel. They the ones calling all the shots. I don't see what it is. They don't want uh, the insurance companies giving health care. That's what Obamacare is really well, about. In insurance is bullshit anyway. Like, why do I gotta have a law that forces me to pay you money in case some shit happens? You know, what kind of dumb ass shit is that? I don't know. That doesn't make no sense. Well, I can I understand car having auto insurance, but Making every human being buy insurance is kind of ridiculous. Well, what, what's your voice going on here? Well, what, why do you need insurance? Uh oh. If, <laughs> can I ask you one question? Are you reading from the Bible or from the Quran? 
man. We wiped our ass with the Koran. <laughs> right. We ain't no, what? I said we wipe our ass with the Koran. We ain't we on that Muslim shit. What do you? Who who made you ordain here? Preacher? The Lord. We out here. We out here doing the work of the Lord. Plus, you ever love my brother? What do you say? What do you say? I said, you lost your ever-loving mind. Why is that? Because we believe in the Bible? Shit, you preach the Koran. You know the Bible... How many times you got to bow down and pray today? The Bible says to pray in your closet by yourself. Uh, this is the Proverbs 11 and um, 28. He that trusted in his riches shall fall. Say, he that trusted in his riches shall fall. Uh, that the righteous shall flourish as a branch. Yep. I'm going back to the curses. Um, so you can't take all them riches with you anyway. When you die, you ain't taking nothing with you. All that shit's staying right here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and you won't even know you left it behind. You. Yep, you won't even know it. It's like you never had it. That's why there's a scripture in uh, Ecclesiastes says, uh, you know, everything's vanity. This, this, you going out and trying to make money all day, that's a vain thing. The only thing you're supposed to do is teach people the truth. But it doesn't take you anywhere, you know what I'm saying? What do you mean it doesn't take you anywhere? It's Let me ask you, so you like... It's not exciting. So why, why do we have uh, uh, people, we can't call them people, we got wild animals running wild on the streets, terrorizing people, robbing people, sticking people up, got faggots everywhere. So you, you want to tell me the Bible don't get you nowhere? Back in the day when everybody <laughs> was following the Bible somewhat, there was no crime. You know what I'm saying? There's always been crime. But not, there's back in the day, like like on Black Wall Street, let's go back there. I guarantee those were really nice neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't have to worry about getting jumped late at night, someone sticking you up. I'm not sure it happened. But not like it does today. This shit out here is just purely unsafe. It's always been like this. No, it's not always been like this. Really it's really outrageous said, uh, right now. So you want to tell me there's always been faggots everywhere and uh, transvestites everywhere. Oh, well, sticker not, boys, not sticker like, boys. That's way out of hand, bro. Not, not like Columbus, no. Not what like about, we got these new things now called flash mobs. Have you seen the flash mobs? What is that? There ain't always been flash mobs. You know, have you seen a flash mob <laughs> or a, ba a bash mob? It's when a whole group of... Uh, Explosives? No, no, no. It's when black people get together, they get a whole group of teenagers like maybe 50 to 100 people and they'll go inside a business I heard about and that. Just, just start taking shit. That's the old stuff. Man, that, that, that. that is not old, bro. That's been happening for years. It, it didn't happen back in the, uh, back in, back in Black Wall Street. That shit wasn't going down. I can guarantee you. Well, they, they wouldn't got shot. If you want to go up to someone's business back, you would, they would have shot your ass. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, back then, oh, hell yeah. But you can't shoot 50 children. I, I bet you I could. They if that was my store, I would, merchandise? I would open That's fire. I would shoot them motherfuckers dead. Look at this fucking flaming faggot, man. Look, look at this fucking faggot on camera. Look at this faggot ass shit, man. It's the shit we gotta live with. Oh, see, see, he should be put to death. Bitch. You know, he... Immediately. Yeah, hey, immediately. <laughs> oh, wait, no, you give him a trial, though. He, he has the right to a trial. Cause you know, in the Bible, everybody gets a trial, right? right. You know that you the right to a trial that comes from the Bible. Because right. you have a right to face your accusers. Because the Bible says... You got You do got a right to face your accusers, yeah. Yeah. and you gotta have at least two witnesses. So we can't just kill a faggot because we said he's a faggot. We gotta have two witnesses that can testify. That, yeah, he is a faggot. <laughs> and once we got the witnesses, the sentence comes down. Punishment is death. <laughs> and then that's it. There's no you go to jail. You no, know, you just get stoned. You just get put to death. So you guys are fag killers, basically. No, we're not. No. We just we telling you how it's supposed to be, how the world is supposed to work. We're, 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 we're. Say what? We ain't telling nobody to commit the violence. Hell no. So where did you get the information that facts should be killed? Scriptures. Leviticus 20 and 13. <laughs> we are the scriptures. He ain't never listened to nothing we ever taught him. Dude. You want me to get it real quick? Okay. Okay. Uh, but you just said you were non-violent, but you yeah. said it's just the most violent in there. supposed to be non-violent right now. We can't execute judgment under this devil's rule, man. You know? Because the only person... trying to go to jail. All, yeah, because you're supposed to have a, a government to do that. You know what I mean? Right, right. Like, back in the day, all the governments were uh, Christian governments. You know what I mean? It was based on the Bible. Like, 
You ever, man, this is a good movie. Uh, what was that movie called? The, it was called New World. You seen a movie called New World with Colin Farrell? With Colin Farrell. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, Christian yeah. Bale. It's about Pocahontas and them. But they show you in that movie when Jamestown was formed. You know what Jamestown is, right? It's the first permanent the colony, colony in America. Right. Right. Oh, that was named after King James. Named after King James. He he he's the one who that was that's his colony. Okay, it's named after him. When, when people first came to Jamestown, they all followed this, and they judged people by the Bible. You can watch in that movie, they brought charges up on Colin Farrell, and they judged him according to a scripture out of Leviticus. And he quoted Leviticus. He said Leviticus says we got to do this and do that, but then they said, "Oh, we forget you, brother." Or something. I forget what happened. But the law used to be based on the Bible. So if you broke a law in Leviticus, that was your ass. You know what I'm saying? All right. Because that was the law. You know what I'm saying? Leviticus. That was the law for 2,000 years. And all of a sudden, they want to change shit. Right. Here's Leviticus 18 and 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. Yeah, so that's an abomination. It's a goddamn abomination. Wait a minute. You took that out of context. Oh, no, he didn't read Can the other read one. read it again? He got another one. It's Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their <laughs> blood shall be upon them. Hey, is. You want to read it again? I hear you, bud. They, That's they the Bible, bro. shall surely be put to death. To death. So that causes there's all kind of reasons for that law right there. First of all, it's disgusting getting shit all over yourself. You get shit on your dick and yeah, that's unsanitary as hell. Then you're spreading Wait. diseases. What do you mean get shit on yourself? Well, you going up beside another you man's asshole? A doo doo hole? A doo doo hole. You're, you're not even, have to have anal sex. You're not even supposed to fuck a bitch in the ass. I don't believe it. Well, you like suck a nigga's dick. A man can't that's suck disgusting. a nigga's dick either. Well, a sperm designed to go in a man's mouth. You know sperm is alive? You ever see sperm under a microscope? It moves. Can you imagine <laughs> what that sperm does when it goes inside a man's body? It's just swimming around up in there, all over. Not knowing what the fuck to do. I like them little girls like that little. I like my I like my women about five foot tall. A fat petite with a fat ass. That's why I don't like a man. You know what I'm saying? A man's ass don't turn me on. That's why you like that. Yeah, I like a little, a little petite bitch like that. That's nice. But you got, you got these dudes, they're not even attracted to women. That's, but they can't, re, you can't fucking reproduce if you don't. We have facts coming from us to say women are gross. Yeah. You know, ugh, women, ugh. I had a fag t call me a breeder. He was making fun of me saying I was a breeder. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> have babies. Right, right. Because yeah. that's what I, look at that bad sexy thing right there. All oh. these bitches look good to me. Mm-hmm. You got to watch them, probably half of them got diseases. So many chunky bitches look good. <laughs> I gave off. I gave up on fat bitches. I, I ain't fucking no more fat bitches, man. Yeah, wearing some bright ass green pants. No grown man in his fluorescent colors. He's a fucking faggot. Goddamn eat him, Mike. Tell by the way he's looking, the way he's walking. Probably got big money too. Probably does. Alright, well taken care of. Them green pants probably cost $200. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some foul shit, man. Some foul people, man. Shit getting weirder and weirder by the day, too. Like man. Dr. Seuss. Our so, people following right along with you. You want to be just like you, man. You want to be faggots? To be, you, you can become successful being a faggot. Our people are quick to jump to it, man. Without a thought in their mind. They I gotta, got their mind made up. I'm going to be the best faggot I can so I can get paid. Yes, yeah, so I get this deal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I can get these 24s in my truck. You know? I got a script for you. Who this ass people? I got a script for you as, you know what I'm saying? This backs us up what we saying. Uh, check this out. This is Isaiah. We read this scripture all the time, too. Isaiah 3 and 8. For Jerusalem is ruined. Now, who's Jerusalem as a people before it's a place? Because Jerusalem re represents Israel. So our, our people is Jerusalem. You know what I'm saying? Like the Lord said, there's a scripture that says, wherever uh, two or three 
are gathered together in my name, I'm there in the midst of them. You know what I'm saying? So actually, this right here is Jerusalem. You know what I'm saying? Let me read this to you. It said, for Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen. Now, Judah goes back to the so-called black man in America. That's the tribe of Judah. And he's definitely fallen. He's in ruins. He's in ruins. He's, in, he's like, yeah, it looks like... He is worse than Romans. <laughs> uh, for Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord to provoke the eyes of his glory. So being a faggot is against the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Being an adulterer, they're going against the Lord. All this shit these people do is going against the Most High. But it's the point right here. It says the show of their countenance. What's a countenance? That's the look on someone's face. Just the, the just the look of somebody. It says the show of their countenance does witness against them, and they declare they sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. So it says they countenance witness against them. They declare they sin as Sodom. They hide it not. What is Sodom? You know Sodom and Gomorrah, right? You know about the ancient cities of Sodom and Gomorrah? Never heard of it. They got shows on the History Channel to prove they actually existed and actually got destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Now that's where you get the word sodomy. You know the word sodomy? That comes from Sodom. That's all you got out here is sodomites. But they said they show their countenance does witness against them. Meaning when you see a faggot, you can tell he's a faggot by one look. One look, like that's a faggot. I mean, you, he, you seen that faggot earlier? He was walking down the street with shaved, his legs were shaved, wearing <laughs> fucking uh, Daisy Dukes and shit. Dukes. A man wearing Daisy Dukes with shaved legs. You know what I'm saying? Walking, like, wearing a tank too. top. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck is that? That shit ain't fucking normal. But you can't identify every gay man well, uh, you, walking but, down the street. Well, well, a lot of times, maybe not on first glance, but when you start Ohio talking State to him, you're like, oh yeah, he's a faggot. You can tell by their ways and by what they talk, when you talk to them, they give it away in their speech. You can tell when somebody ain't deeply rooted in the scripture. So you're saying that there's, there's no gay people who believe in the Bible? I'm sure there is. You got you probably got people that teach the Bible, like us, that are probably like fucking those probably faggots. They're probably closet faggots. Yeah, I'm sure you'll have that. You always have that. You know what I'm saying? You got people who pretend to be men of the Lord and they ain't really men of the Lord. They just, you know, they faking the funk. You know what I'm saying? You always have that. You're not you can't just trust anybody with a Bible in their hands. You got to judge a tree by its fruits. You know what I'm saying? Is there more to this? Yeah, it actually it does, right here, watch this. Like I said, you gotta judge a tree by its fruits, right? This is the same same scripture, Isaiah 3 and 10. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. So, what? like I said, you judge a tree by its fruit. So if, they, if a faggot, what kind of fruit does a faggot got? Some faggot ass fruit. So he's gonna eat the fruit of his own doings. What, 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 what's the punishment for being a faggot? Is death. So ultimately, they're going to be sentenced to death. And they say faggots live a shorter life than anybody. You know what I'm saying? They die at an early age, they die around 40, you know, even younger than that. Really? Well, they catch, you catch some diseases and shit. You ain't going to live too long, blowing your asshole out every time you go uh, there. Not every gay person has anal sex. I'm sure they do. What the hell do they, they, they do? What they do then? What the hell would they do? They get another, you know. Other forms of sex. You don't have to have Why are you taking course? up for faggots? Huh? Why are you taking up for faggots? You're faggots? You co signing for faggots? No, I'm just saying. Not, they all don't have anal oh, sex. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't matter. If they take it in the mouth or in the ass, they're still a faggot. Listen to this. Isaiah 3 and 11. Woe unto the wicked. It shall be ill with him. For the reward of his hand shall be given him. I mean, that's there the point is. right there, man. It, what? Plus an adulterer too. An adulterer is no worse. He's worse than a faggot, actually. Do you know when you commit adultery, you have sex with another man's wife? That means you're actually a faggot. Because that, that woman that got uh, her husband busting all kind of nuts up in her. Why she been sucking his dick. He been the dick been all in her pussy, getting sperm all over. You got another man coming over there the same day sometimes. 
and fucking her right after her husband fucked her. That's, you know how disgusting that is? And you get another man's nut and shit all up on you? I mean, that's just nasty and filthy, man. And only if it happens the same day, you mean. It's same shit. If it's, if it's a few weeks later, it's all right. Hell no, it ain't okay. That means you guys couldn't have only had sex with all virgins then, right? Actually, that well, that's because we're all guilty of death. I'm guilty of death. That's why we out here trying to clean this shit that, that's, that's the whole point of the truth, bro. Because we're all fucking, we're, we're all wicked bastards, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? That's why the Lord died on the cross. You forgot about that part, didn't you? What? Because we're all guilty of that. We've all committed adultery. I had nothing to do with it. I wasn't even born. When, when, when you died read the, the Bible, cross. like like you said, if you not, if if you only had sex with a virgin, excuse me. The only way, if I, let me say it like this: if I had sex with any woman who was not a virgin, I'm guilty of adultery, and the punishment for that is death. I mean, there's no way around it. That punishment is death. But that's why the Lord died on that cross. To forgive you of your sins so you could escape that punishment of death. Because without the Lord, we'd all be guilty of death. I gotta actually get a scripture to, to explain this to him. Until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings. Whereby thou hast forsaken me. Oh man, I was about to get Romans 7. I keep forgetting my Romans 7 got ripped. The Lord okay. shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from off the land where the Romans 7, you want to do it? Get rid of The battery's messed up? No, no, I'm saying. Uh, oh, the other Bible? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption and with a fever and with an inflammation. The infl that's going back to all these STDs and shit. That's why I'll. They said a black woman has the highest uh, AIDS rate than any other woman. Uh, black women are more likely to catch AIDS than any other any other woman. You know that? Really? They they did nasty as hell. They filthy. They fuck they fuck anything. Whenever you can be a standing over a woman, she's got her legs spread, she's playing with her pussy, and it feels you can feel heat. That means there's something going on in her pussy that ain't right. You can actually feel heat from a pussy. That's those infections in there cooking up. Most of them bitches, you know? when you feel it, uh, you gotta feel their pussy before you go up in it. Cause they have bumps and all kind of shit up on it. Mm -hmm. You feel you go fill up, you got warts and shit up in there. You gotta do a finger check before you just dive up in there. <laughs> you ain't supposed to smell a woman's pussy when she open her legs, man. You ain't yeah. supposed to be able to smell it. You know? Some bitches, yeah, man. Some, I smell some funky pussy. I don't even want to talk about it. Bring back I bad memories. Funky. I was <laughs> <laughs> just the truth though, man. Bitches is trifling. Man, man, you fight fucking bitch, man. Bitch just got done fucking someone else five minutes before she came over to your house talking about she ain't got no boyfriend. Or she ain't married. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? I mean you probably scared the quality women away, man. I don't I don't really deal with a lot of women. Uh I deal with I just study all day. I'm like a hermit. I don't even leave the house. Except when I do the work. I mean, if, I, if, the, if the Lord hooks me up with a badass bitch, I'll take it. No problem. But I'm not going to go out my way to hook up with one of these trifling assholes. I'm not in no rush to catch AIDS. So you're afraid to leave the house? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> you get out more often than he don't, don't you, too? Yeah. Huh? Is he, is he being truthful? Yeah, I'm being truthful. Being you're hermitized? I, I'm a hermit, yeah. All I, I, all I do is study. Always fishing. I can't, I can't, I, I can't function in this world, man. I go outside, I start losing my mind. I just fish differently. Yeah, everybody got their own, everybody got their own style, their own spirit. I mean, I be, I be doing shit. I went to a festival last week. The Lord made us fishing, bro. Made us fishing. Fishing. Fishing for men. Fishing for the elect, not just any man, just for the elect. The elect is a small number in there. It's a small sanctuary, bro. Small. Oh, are you I'm fishing for other people to teach the word? You mean? Bring the elect in to start, you know, pushing that word out. The Lord's on the word. I'm going to read this real quick. Romans 7 and uh, 4. It said, Wherefore, my brethren, ye also are become dead to the law by the body of Christ. Okay, meaning we, we if if we believe in the Lord, we don't get punished for committing adultery that we did before. If we've all committed adultery, you know what I'm saying? 
that every, almost everybody's guilty of that one. Did it ignorantly. Yeah, did it ignorantly. Like, if, if, like I said, if your woman that you got with was not a virgin, you committed adultery. Most people that are married to, they expect, even people in the truth to do what we do, the woman that they with, they wasn't a virgin when they got with them. You know what I'm saying? So they, they're guilty of that too. So ain't none of us fucking perfect. He said, Wherefore, my brethren, ye also become dead to the law by the body of Christ, that ye should be married to another, even to him who was raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto God. So that's the whole purpose. He's giving us his grace. But why did he give it? We, we he just ain't give us the grace for free. We, get, we got a contract. Like we signed a contract with the Lord. Bible calls it a covenant, which is a contract. Okay, the Lord gonna forgive us, but we gotta uphold our end of the bargain, which is we gotta bring forth fruits, we gotta teach the word. And we gotta be more fishermen. He said, For when we were in the flesh, the motions of sins which were by the law did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death, meaning we're all guilty of death. But now we are delivered from the law, that being dead wherein we are held, that we should serve in newness of spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. <laughs> Meaning before, like I said, we'd all be put to death already. You know what I'm saying? For I was alive without the law once, but when the commandment came, sin revived and I died. <laughs> and the commandment which was ordained to life, I found to be unto death. For sin taking occasion by the commandment deceived me, and by it slew me. Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just and good. So, you know the commandments we read you in Leviticus that say you gotta kill a faggot. That's a good commandment. Uh, the commandment that say you gotta kill an adultery, that's good, you know what I'm saying? I probably have to commit suicide. Because I committed adultery before, right? It is a good commandment. But the, like the Lord said, he brings forgiveness. So you're not worried about having to kill yourself, being that you committed adultery? <laughs> well, 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 just listen. It says, Was then that which is made, uh, excuse me, Was then that which is good made death unto me? God forbid. I just answered your question. No, I don't gotta kill myself. But sin, that it might appear sin working death in me by that which is good, that sin by the commandment might become exceedingly sinful. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. So the law is spiritual, but we're all carnal. Meaning we're all in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? And the flesh is uh, the flesh sins. It says, for that, for that which I do not, excuse me, this one's kind of tricky to read. For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. So we now we, we still break commandments in the Bible. You know we hate doing it. We, we do it unwillingly. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, uh, like if some people gotta work on the Sabbath. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go to work, but if you don't work on the Sabbath, you might get fired. You know, Sundays. Well, the Sat. Yeah. Well, it's not really Sunday, but you know, you're supposed to have one one day a week is the Sabbath, which is really goes by the new moon. Okay, that's another topic. Battery about to die. Right. All right, that battery's about to die? Yeah. All right, let me finish this up real quick. If then, I know it's hard to read. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Now then, is it no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me? For I know that in me, that is my flesh, dwelleth no good things. And no good thing dwells in our flesh. For to will, excuse me, for to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. For the good that I would, I do not, but the evil which I would not, that I do. I mean, it's hard as hell to stop sinning. That's what it's talking about. Now, if I do that I would not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man, but I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members 
Oh, wretched man that I am. So we're all wretched. This is the point I wanted to hit. Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? We're all cursed living in these bodies. I thank God through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and I'm going to say it properly. It says, I thank God through Yahweh Shai, our Lord, so then with the mind, I myself serve the law of God, but with the, but with the flesh, the law of sin. What he's saying, that is kind of hard to make out. But what he's saying is that we're all wretched. You know what I'm saying? So like that song, Amazing Grace. So a wretched man in an eye. You've heard that song. Amazing Grace. Uh, uh, I was a wretched man or whatever, how that shit goes. We are, we're really pieces of shits. So that's why you got to pray to the Lord for forgiveness. Man. Really pieces of shit. Yeah. If you, if you, ain't, you, you ain't shit without the Lord. That's pretty much what I said. Because you, your, your body is filthy. You know what I'm saying? Well, filthy rags. Yeah. You, you don't believe that anyway, do you? Right. Huh? No. He gonna be calling on the name of the Lord to forgive him. That is an option. You don't have to He says an option. It's an option. Oh, actually, actually, there is no option. There's no free will. There's no choice. Really? Hell no, there's no choice. I'll get a scripture to prove it. But you got, uh, how you much time here for how many years? got left on it. I don't say it. Four years? It just got some, the, the battery blinking. All right. Just let me, because, yeah, we'll just, let me get a script real quick, see if I can squeeze this in. Get my Ephesians. Man, these Bibles hard as heck to turn the pages. <laughs> I should have brought my small Bible out here. I, think, I need a new Bible. Here we go. Ephesians 1 and 4. I'm going to prove there ain't no free will. Ephesians 1 and 4. <laughs> According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. So he chose us before the world was even formed. It's, it's already chosen. Who was going to make it and who wasn't going to make it. Having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. So he predestined. So before the world was even created, the Lord had already chosen his, uh, chose his elect. The elect meaning the people, the Lord's first fruits, his favorite, the elect of Israel. We was chosen before the earth was even formed. There's so, two types of elect. There's elect, yeah. 144 that's going to be set over all the rest of Israel. Yeah. There's 144,000 elect Israelites that's going to be given all the authority to judge the whole entire universe. Yep. The, the whole universe because we're going to colonize outer space right we're going to get we're going to colonize all the planets you know what i'm saying you like star trek that's us you know what i'm saying going on a